Taskmaster here has one of the longest ability lists that I've ever seen. I mean, even that signature ability has more words in it than most champions' entire ability page. And you might be thinking, oh no, are you going to have to read all of this to figure out how to play the champion? No. That's where I come in. I'm going to show you exactly how this champion works. We're not going to do any reading because reading is stupid. Let's go ahead and jump into a fight and I'll show you exactly how to play Taskmaster. Hold up, pause the video, I want to show you something before the fight starts. Take a look at this cooldown timer. This is the cooldown for Taskmaster's Exploit Weakness ability, which is how Taskmaster deals his damage while simultaneously lowering the enemy's ability accuracy. Now there's a way to instantly reset this timer, which is by doing a heavy attack. So the best way to start out the fight playing as Taskmaster is to start with a heavy. Let's go. Notice how the cooldown timer is gone and it changed to a different type of buff and now it also says exploit weakness medium. That's the type of attack that you need to connect with. So I need to hit Winter Soldier here with a medium attack in order to exploit his weakness, dealing additional damage while also giving him a concussion, lowering his ability accuracy. Take a look at the damage that one medium attack dealt. I crit for 1899 and then I also did direct damage for exploiting the weakness for 1519. Not too bad on a one single attack, right? But now exploit weakness is back on cooldown, right? So we have to wait before we can do it again. But if you remember, using a heavy attack will reset that cooldown immediately. Now here's where it gets interesting, because Taskmaster has an additional buff that for one second after he uses an exploit weakness, he can actually use a heavy attack without being hit. It's as if you're invisible like the hood. The animations will still look like they hit you, but they'll go straight through you, not doing any damage, not interrupting your heavy attack animation. But you only have one second to do this. So essentially, Taskmaster has a different rotation than the average champion. Instead of doing a 5-hit combo and then backing out and do another 5-hit combo after that, with Taskmaster it's closer to using an attack that exploits the weakness of your enemy, followed by a heavy attack to reset that cooldown, followed by exploiting the weakness, and just kind of rinse and repeat over and over. Now, the way that the exploit weaknesses work, it's actually the last attack that the enemy does, and this could be a medium attack, a light attack, a heavy attack, or special 1, 2, and 3 attack. So whatever the last attack that the enemy tried to, to land on you, that's what you're going to be exploiting. If, if they dashed in and did a medium attack and you parried it, then all you have to do to exploit it is land a medium attack back on them. If you dodge a special 1, then you're going to have to hit them with a special 1. Now I just used my special 3 ability, which is essentially a wild card exploit weakness. It doesn't matter what the game is telling you to do, a medium attack, heavy attack, a special 1, the special 3 will work and exploit the weakness of your enemy. Now I need to pause one more time here, because now there is a different passive debuff on Winter Soldier, and I like to refer to this as a super concussion. Essentially, you are applying a concussion debuff every time you exploit the weakness of the enemies, and once that hits 5, it becomes a super concussion, which does a few things. It reduces ability accuracy by 50% for 15 seconds. It counts as 5 debuffs for Taskmaster's other abilities, which most notably, Taskmaster gains additional attack on his special abilities if there are uh, debuffs on the enemy. Uh, and what it also does is removes the exploit weakness cooldown timer. So now you no longer have to weave in those heavy attacks in order to keep triggering exploit weaknesses. Uh, if you can, you can just go all out and deal additional damage on all of your attacks. And then with the additional uh, you know, attack that you're getting on your specials and exploiting the weaknesses, the damage output can actually be pretty strong. However, that's where we come to the first real issue with Taskmaster in my opinion. It's not easy to run this rotation of exploiting the enemy's weakness, followed by heavy attacks to reset the cooldown timer, while also paying attention to the enemy's power meter, and knowing when you need to back out and bait out specials, and then while you're baiting out specials, can you, can you even reliably keep up the concussion debuffs on the enemy to get it to a 5 stack, to get to that point where they have a super concussion, where you no longer have a cooldown on your exploit weakness. And, to make things worse, once you get there, I feel like the damage potential is still not 
that high in comparison to some of the other champions that we already have that require far less work to build up. And I understand that Taskmaster has, you know, some other utility built in where he's also reducing the enemy's ability accuracy, and that's fantastic, but we also have champions like Blade that don't require any kind of ramp up, that have, you know, ability accuracy reduction just straight away, uh, his damage is, I feel like, higher without doing any of the work than even Taskmaster's final form when he has that super concussion going and zero cooldown on his exploit weakness. And that, to me, is just a bit backwards, because Taskmaster, he's one of those champions that's going to take a lot of skill, a lot of concentration, and you have to play this champion perfectly, and for him to not even be able to achieve the level of a champion like Blade, who doesn't require all of that stuff, he's, he's, he's one of the more simple champions that just kind of has all of this utility just, just built into him, uh, and, and healing if you make mistakes and everything like that, uh, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a bit bizarre. I, I would like to see a bit more reward for, you know, investing your time and practicing into this champion that's going to take all of this skill, but right now, I just feel like there's there's no real reason to, to practice with a champion like this as long as you have uh, you know one of these other champions and yes not every champion can be you know the best champion in the game and I'm fine with that but um, still I would like to see uh, skill get rewarded a bit more um, you know for, for, for taking all that time to learn this champion. But in any case, guys, I really appreciate Kabam uh, continuing this content creators program. I unfortunately do not get to keep this Taskmaster. I am going to have to give him back. Uh, maybe I can squeeze out one more video with a little bit more practice with this guy uh, before I have to return him. But uh, hopefully you found this video helpful on how to play as Taskmaster. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.